Okay, let's check the bounty. Lindsay Woofold. Woofold. Oh. <laughs> okay. He's probably in that fort. I can bet. And what's that? Weapon. Some clean weapon. Okay. Seems like nobody is around. And that weapon might be a trap. Okay, let's try. The bow, if someone... Fuck, no one is here for now. Lindsay Wofford? I got here a Wofford for your arrest. Or the other thing, if it comes to it. A federal warrant? Oh, no, no, that don't mean much territory, mister. We've been beaten down and driven out of enough. Let's make a stand, boys! Someone take the Ooh. Like they spawning non stop. Yeah, God damn it, come on. Okay, <laughs> let's rush him. There is no stairs here. Come on, let's go here. Okay, okay. Just don't blow up the dynamite. Hello. There we go. So this is Lemoyne Raiders again, right? Oof. And they and took his head. Damn you to hell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn you. Agree, agree. Okay, wanna check that weapon first. Stay here. Where was it? Oh, cigarette card. Okay, later. Where was it? Uh huh. Okay, and what's this? Uh, what's this? What's this? Oh, Civil War knife. Wow. Look at this. Looking good. Get us to San Denis. I won't go there. I won't. Ain't really up to you, partner. Uh. 
Andrew, take me home. Okay. The more raiders. So this ain't de jure. The federal government don't have no jurisdiction over me. Mm. I'm a citizen of the free state of Lemoyne and am subject to state law alone. Understand that, you dumb bastard. Well, this guy reminds me Dutch a little bit. The Lamorne Raiders ain't done yet! <laughs> we are bloody and unbowed! We will never surrender! is a dumbass why he told that we settled in uh, their previous camp this guy in theory could tell the police about that he's our journey is almost at an end oh, I hope the night folk get you you son of a bitch <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, you traitor. Hey, what Chief, has got into this you? Out of here. Oh, you bastard. Hey, you stole my wallet. Here, it won't happen again. 
Okay. Damn fool. Ah, <laughs> that was interesting event. Like, I was entering the shop, and he was uh, uh, going out, and he bumped into me. Like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and took my wallet. Okay, so I bought a new town outfit for the Arthur. Looks great in my opinion. Now Arthur looks like a decent city hall. Everyone started to say hello to me. Hell yeah, look at me. Just a rich citizen. Member of society. Une bonne soirée à vous, monsieur. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Sure. All right. Nice to see you again, sir. Again? Did you change your mind about donating by any chance? Wait. We could really use your support to improve the lives of our veterans and their families. Yeah, sure, sure. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. Mm, nice. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Well, good luck to you. Seems a worthwhile cause. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Hmm. I don't like how it goes. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. What the hell is this? Oh, wait. Double barrel. Okay. I thought it's quadro barrel for a second. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's gonna be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion, have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers 
It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we we most surely were ignorant of. You, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Theodore. <laughs> That's the embarrassed woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> 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 so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrate the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. They need this. See, my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Leen. Now you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Italians. Italians look like old 20 year smokers. <laughs> In this game, I mean. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. Kinda. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's are gonna hold Jack Ransom for all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Can I take my shotgun, maybe? I love my shotgun. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Okay. <clears throat> what the hell is this loadout? I said I want my shot fucking gun. There we go. And I don't want rolling block. Why games doing this? I, I don't get it. It's not that kind of mission I think. I'm a gentleman with a shotgun. This? Let's see what's going on in here. I'll check this way. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook them. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, this place is interesting place. I didn't expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground. Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
John, look at you. I'm gonna push your head. You wash my back. John is so dirty. Now I look like a Dutch. Maybe even better than Dutch. Well, Dutch got that gold trinkets and this. rings, I but know. I look like a decent folk. We get the boy back. Folk. That folk. Better keep That's one. Don't exactly make it too hard for grave robbers, do they? Hang on. There might be something. But I definitely heard something. What the hell? What the hell was that? Some women. Let's go this way. Nice mission. Can might be boring or something, but what was that? I seen the enemy market, so it should be this. Twenty bucks. The here coming. Wow. Hold on. They are. Oh, not bad, not bad. Look what I got. They're pretty rich, really. Good loot. Maybe right. it's basic loot. Okay, but we'll need of to be all quick. Town folks. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Okay. Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Okay, okay. That was a nice mission. Maybe this one? I don't get it. Oh, this is it? What, what should we... Where is the stash? Oh, must be here. There might be something in here. Oh my god, police. Let's get out of here. 
Damn, boss here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it. She will climb like. Okay. Okay. But we gotta stick to the side. My head is too high. Too near the gate. Uh -huh. Oh, nice, nice. We can go, we can go. Come on, John, come on, come on, come on. Shh, shh, come on. Johnny, why are you waiting? Look at this horse, it's like mine. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank Mr. Bronte for right. everything. <laughs> Look at him. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Oh, look at this. Look at his outfit. Oh my god. He's looking better than... I mean Jack. Jack looking better than uh, like when he was with us. You're gonna love it. I think for the Jack it would be better if we all could be will be dead. I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my whole room with a big bed and a toy. Oh my god. Wow. My god. Poor Jack. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. I 
like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You two are Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which one? <laughs> At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Papa Bronte. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa deal with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this oh my new god, game. this boy is a traitor. This one's got a house. He already not as nice uh, as Mr. Bronte's mind. <laughs> that's okay. Tell him that's Papa no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. Oh my god. Oh my god, he was living the in the paradise before we rescued him. <laughs> It would be so good for him if uh, we would be dead or don't come for him. Uh, he would miss his uh, mom, of course, but overall his life would be amazing. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They said he was good. They're <laughs> You ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. <sighs> Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, <laughs> let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Here and Arthur is and smoking premium break. cigarettes. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. <laughs> How about a song? Oh, are you? Javier, play us away. Look at Micah, only Micah is sad. I won't understand the word, but it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. <laughs> it was me, Cafe, or not? Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. 
cuando salí de Hermosillo Lágrimas vine llorando Oh my god, look at him Oh my god, Jack. <laughs> In your costume, he just sat on this dirt. Oh. Yeah. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Hosea. Well, I'll let you find folks get reacquainted. How are you, man, Ben? Hey, what's up, Micah? Mr. Bell? Had fun robbing graves, I hear. Yeah, that's more your style. <laughs> Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. What? If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Tahiti. Have a little faith. Ah. <sighs> Oh chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging there was a riot. They went to lynch me. Uh, but uh, someone I never saw, the, he shot the rope. Clean through. Instead they hanged the sheriff. And I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. Nice. <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Ah, I see. Makes a difference. Can't see how. Tide comes in, tide goes out. You was born, you die. In between, you do what you do. Ain't no good, ain't no bad, just things that make you feel good or make you feel sad. And just the length that oh, Micah, you just ruined me. And, and what's Considerable amount of blood you are wearing. Chasdine? What are you doing? Nothing. I don't believe you. <laughs> it's just a little robbery, alright? Nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. That sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now, who you want to go with? <laughs> I guess you. 
Yeah? I don't need no hand holding off of Oh, come on, kid. <laughs> but if we decide to do it once we've had the book, I'm taking half the money. Arthur, right. greedy bastard. Let's get going then. It should be on his way right now. Okay. I'm gonna wear my. It seems like only jacket. yesterday you and me were shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll be glad to leave this place behind if I'm honest. Got a bad feel too. At least he's got a roof. You've got a roof. Of course, I'm outside with the juniors. Oh, you huh. ain't even 20 years old. Your time will come. Oh, he's really young. Even not 20. He's really, really young. Girl. Follow me. I saw a good spot for An ambush. Who's the fella told you about this? It's a sound lead. I told you. And what did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean, did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay, mm. okay, I do. Good morning. Prove yourself the past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys. For three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. Uh, those fellers who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again right now. Of course. So, if he's not 20, so he killed the dudes when he probably was 16, 17. Wow, very young. Place. Oh my god, what a nice place. Okay, we're good. Let's leave the horses off the road to the right here. Okay. Sounds like a plan, Lenny. I figured we take up position behind these rocks. Yeah, seems good. The stage should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. Looking good, lady. Let's wear the mask. Oh, here it is. There it is. Yeah. And I don't see no escorts neither. <laughs> this should be a cakewalk. Are you sure about that? You see mm. any? As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out. Hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? Oh no.
where who I can see no one. was expecting things to go. You took us into a trap. Look, I'm telling you, it was good information. Wait. Look. Look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much, because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. Set up traps oh. to catch fools. Shit. Like you and me. I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. You're still alive, so. Don't worry too much about it. Come on, get out of here before any more turn up. All right. See you back at camp. Hold on. Hold on. Please. I thought I was chasing a cowgirl. You there? Please, can you help me here? Maybe. <laughs> to save. That's it. Oh, okay. That's it. Not today. Charging elk. <laughs> 